Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb, where I've done a little bit of work. You can see it's day 75 now. Uh, I did like finish our base, I finished the whole Divine Inspiration Tree. Once you have done that, Devotion turns into just a money generator. Uh, so as you can see, I have a hell of a lot of money. This was not really a tremendous amount of work, by the way. I did like a, um, uh, I was watching a movie and I just did stuff during, over the course of the movie. And in that amount of time, I got to like, <laughs> once you, once you finish the, the tree, the money comes in very, very quickly. So here's some interesting news. Uh, first of all, obviously I've continued to um, put a lot of effort into leveling up our people. I have no idea if these stats actually matter at all. Like, it is baffling to me how in this era, with all of the games that have already come out, you st there could be game developers who still think it's okay to be like, more explosion damage, 12 of, or whatever. Like, numbers. Everything needs, we need to be able to see the numbers. Uh, but... Over the course of, you know, the like the three dungeon runs I did, and then also hiring people from Hilob and stuff, uh, I did eventually find... Where are you? Negrino. Here we go. I found a person. of. The, I found a person who becomes the sword demon. I, at first I was figuring it must not be implemented or there must be a bug or something. But no, I think we've seen like 40 cultists and... This is the only one we've ever had who who was an Orcus. So I am definitely thinking about just going in with boom, boom, boom. There's not enough time in the battle, I think, for the heart gathering demon to be very good. And the fervor demon is definitely useful in that final battle. But also we can just run and pick up our own, you know, it's fine. We can just run and grab the fervor. So I think... We're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna we're gonna try with the three uh, the three offensive uh, demons and see if that does it. Also, you might notice I have a shit ton of spirit hearts right now, and I honestly don't know why. I don't know where they came from. Uh, Throg is twelve. One of them is from having eaten a meal, but the rest of them were just kind of slowly accumulating over the course of the time that I was doing stuff in in town here, and that really was like most of what I was spending time on. Level 15 Vesta. <laughs> Fingers crossed this is good enough. Uh, but because I was watching a movie at the same time, I was not paying close enough attention to figure out exactly what it was that was causing all of the um, <laughs> all of the spirit hearts to come. So I'll say this: I feel very prepared. If I can't get it done now with the with the leveled up offense and the huge amount of health. I have to admit, I am going to be very disappointed in myself. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be inconsolable. It's going to be very bad news. We were up at 24 cultists for a while there, but I had, um, I had two of them reach old age. So crit dagger, bane hammer... Necromantic Gauntlet. I think I'm going to take the Gauntlet over the Dagger. I really do think the extra range is super helpful. Even though the raw damage output on the Dagger is probably better. And then I think that um, I think that Hounds of Fate is basically perfect. We have all of the offense in the world. I mean... Right? A little little bit of prep, a little bit of time spent, you know, chilling out with our with our closest friends. Hopefully this is the one. And we flee. Ow, I did not mean to Okay, dude. Just like right back into your combo. Okay. There we go. You remember he has other abilities. Ow, and then I just get hit by them. You know, the downside of this thing where we like take a bunch of time off and then come back in is even though I'm prepped, I'm also like very cold on the fight. My timing is all screwed up and I'm getting hit a ton. Holy shit. That was an unforgivable number of hits during that first fight. We might have enough health to just get through it, but it sucks that I have to just get through it.
Holy shit, Hounds of Fate. <laughs> That's like a pretty good curse, is the thing. Alright, enough chat. thought I was gonna be able to roll through that. Yeah, being super cold on the fight is a little a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, it's like any time you hesitate at all, it was wrong to hesitate, and any time you go in, it was wrong to go in. Okay, now the keep away phase, but we do get a we do get a full curse recharge or fervor recharge rather, and I think that lets me just kill him. Yeah, because it turns out Hounds of Fate is like. Hardcore bananas. We just got to make sure we're picking up our fervor in this next phase. I'm basically like run around, stay safe, and fire curse. <laughs> All girls these days, days know how to do is. We'll find we'll find time for some hot chips in here somewhere. Do we get reset to full fervor at the beginning of this phase as well? Yes. Cool. All right. The hounds do, it seems, considerably less damage to the eyes. Is it two casts? No. Oh, interesting. The hounds just decided they were not interested in participating in the battle on that one. So we get not quite a cast per sort of like burst of follower fervor. That was a little greedy. I should not have stayed in so long. I was just really excited to be able to hit two of them at once. All right. This is where it starts to get a little bit more difficult. Just, just don't panic. Cowards. Okay, that almost turned a little sideways on me. Uh, the followers are, yeah, they're not being super cooperative. They're they're putting out the fervor in places where it's very difficult for me to get to it. Okay, all right, I'm handling it. I'm handling it. I just gotta calm down a little bit, because I am like panic dodging into fire here and there, or at least toward the fire. I haven't actually been getting hit that much, which is like. I think a good strat. Let's try to try to take less damage. Okay, getting a little tight. Oh. Ooh, I got I got pinned in place by casting for a very long time there. Ah, uh, okay. It needs to not be the case that literally everywhere is unsafe for me to stand. I need I need some spots. Oh, 
Okay. No eyeballs for you, sir. Is that it? Are we actually good? One more face. Well, I don't know why I expected him not to be adorable. That seems, in retrospect, that seems foolish. You have supplanted me. A vessel no more. Instead of crown-bearing deity. Damned lamb. I am at your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful false idol or a merciful coward? No longer can you blame your vile acts on me. Um, I mean... I feel like I need more information. Because here's the, like, here's the question. Are you joining up is my... <laughs> if you're joining up, spare. Otherwise, murder, I feel like, is the play here. What makes sense for the character of the lamb that we've been playing so far? From the moment that we took the crown, we knew he was going to try this shit. And we knew we were not going to allow it. Does that take us to does that take us to Murder Town? Also, if if I spare him, is he going to seek vengeance? He's probably going to seek vengeance, right? You know what? Here's the thing. Here's here's where I, what is guiding this decision. I get it. Like I super get it. I'm going to let him go cuz I cuz I think I would likely have done the same in his position. <laughs> You weak, sniveling, foul thing. You- Wait! Wait! Welcome to the cult, friend. Prepare to get indoctrinated. <laughs> I mean, neither one of the options were, like, the good one, right? One of them is one of them is murder and the other one is just the murder of his like agency. <laughs> Sacrifice reborn vessel, ascend once more and take true form. No longer a servant, no less than a god. Cool. Please spread the good weird near and far. Sure. I guess that's what I've done. Hi, hello, if you're watching this, you are the receiver of the word. I enjoyed that. I think that it is maybe a little bit too long in terms of um, just like the amount of combat you need to do for the length of the mechanical systems. Like, I, I don't think, not to say that the game is too long, but the two sort of parts of the game are not well matched in their length, I think. Also, the vast majority of the game is too easy if that's what the final boss fight's going to be like. I think that there's there's a weird sort of jump at the end there. Gosh, a fast credit sequence. Can you believe it? Howdy. I thought you were redder. There we go. You follow your teachings faithfully. It's hardly even mind control. Okay, immortal... Heals quickly, gains faith when building better sleeping quarters. I am not allowed to change your look, but you were redder in the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were redder in the area, in the in the post-game area there. You get to be bright red now. Is that a bee? Is there a giant bee in my... Your whole deal is worship. All the time worship. Since when are there bees in my base? Um, and then I guess we're done. We finished the plot. We can continue to go on and uh, all of our demons didn't undemon, which is weird. But fine, I guess. Uh, you can see I built some more farming plots and stuff. I expanded some, but I don't think we actually need to have expanded. I was kind of just like looking for stuff to do while I waited for the day to roll over so that I could do more sermons. I built a second outhouse, you know. Uh, anyway, yeah, I guess that's it. We finished the game. We could, we could keep going and fight more witnesses or do more deep dives or, I suppose, just become unreasonably rich. Really unreasonably rich. 3,000 coins. No big deal. It's a shame you can't exchange them for almost anything of value. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I guess that is going to be it for us for today and also for this series. I enjoyed this. There's some minor quibbles. There's some some bits that are a little buggy. Also, the mouse and keyboard controls could use a little bit of work. 
I know they're like controller recommended, but if you're releasing your game on the PC, the mouse and keyboard controls have to be solid. That's the... That's table stakes, friends. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this spreading of the good word. When you come back next time, next week, we're going to have some cool new stuff for you. I'm very excited about some of the weird new games we're going to be playing. And we'll see you then.